Yeah. And pull the sip and take in your hood What the fuck is up, you buttercup Park it in that butt, smoking suicide Bloody butt, pussy boy, you talking Say it to the it ain't not enough How these pussy niggas know And day to day I had enough What up, it's your boy T-Bear here with the reactions So I had his videos in my um, save list on Facebook for a while I forgot to look at this for a while So now this is going back on to the whole sex doll thing so the one always Darren Jackson has something to say about the, you know how he is about being about empowerment to women and all that so we think but um not not all but also with his video they got a couple of dudes who are pretty much firing back at uh Mr. Darren Jackson because let me see one of the videos that said called um because of how he's like you know downplaying the brothers you know what I mean Cause he do that. He not only he uh he uplift the ladies, but downplay the uh, us fellas though. I'm saying I'm not in the ones he downplay, but he downplay a lot of fellas, and the fellas not feeling that. So let's see. First, we look at the 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 mini video from from Darren Jackson, then the two videos from the opposing parties though. So let's check out Darren Jackson video first. This is about this is on the whole sex sex doll thing going on. Let me move my shirt over a little bit. Here you go. Oh, let me get that double vision going on right now. Yes, we do. Let's get it. Look, I've been seeing a whole lot of talk about these new sex dolls. The ones that dudes are telling women they need to watch out for because they're about to take y'all place. But I also saw that these dolls cost $2,000 a piece. So my question is, why should women have to worry about a doll that y'all can't afford? Because half y'all ain't got no job, so I know you ain't expecting no refund check. The other half y'all still complain about $200 a month in child support. <laughs> and you can't even take the girl that you do like on a real date to a restaurant that doesn't have a drive through Or you want to Netflix and chill with your homeboy's password. Mm, and then y'all be talking man. about splitting rent 50-50 with your woman. And that's if you can move out of your mama's house. Hell, sound a lot to me like women don't need to watch out. You dudes need to humble yourselves because women these days got that bag. So one, y'all gonna need her help in order to get the dolls that she's supposed to worry about. And two, if they make a male version, one that don't come after 10 strokes with excuses talking about, you know, it's been a long time since the last time. And he don't need to borrow $20 for gas until his check clear. Y'all gonna be the ones in trouble, not women. Damn, my nigga. Look, oh, hold up. Damn, my nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn, my nigga, he went in. Shit, I wonder if he was gonna say cooking and cleaning or not. The man, you ladies had over us looking like y'all so much more than that. True. Oh, that's a, that's him talking that shit. Tell the tell dudes to purr within their means and take and they get triggered. Go figure. Uh, he going hey, ladies, ladies are green. Ladies don't get somebody these sex. So, I mean, be careful. We now have the fuckboy baby to the 3,000. Oh, shit. But let's, but a couple people, a couple of the uh, opposing, opposing parties had something to say about Mr. Darren Jack's uh, little, little saying. So, his first one's from com comedian Shalid Jr. So, calling him saying his thing is Dirt Jack, stop reaching with the man badger. Yeah, I said it. So, let's see what he had to say about this. Let's hold up a second. This is uh Chili Chili Jr. Things is blowing up a little bit too slow. I don't know why, but let's let's go. I've been seeing a whole lot of talk about these new sex dolls. The ones that dudes are telling women they need to watch out for because they're about to take y'all place. But I also saw that these dolls cost two thousand dollars a piece. So my question is, why should women have to worry about a doll that y'all can't afford? Because half y'all ain't got no job, so I know you ain't expecting no refund check. The other half y'all still complain about $200. And two, if they make a male version, one that don't come after 10 strokes with excuses talking about, you know, it's been a long time since the last time. And he don't need to borrow $20. For <laughs> he bought the, he bought the flame this man. Flag on the play. Flag on play. Excessive shade. Excessive salt. <laughs> he said excessive shade. Yeah, uh, uh, excessive man bashing. You reaching with this one, bro. Don't nobody give a damn about them sex dolls for real. People doing exactly. that for comedy, man. Exactly. Ain't nobody replacing our ladies for no damn sex dolls. You use anything you can to bash men. You gonna rip that True. Red shirt reaching this. <laughs> bro, real man and real woman know ain't nothing better than authenticity, man. Nothing better than a real thing, baby. Hang on, let me that shirt for my reason. Nothing fake. If a weirdo want to mess with a rubber plastic doll, let him go do it. Exactly. Just mark him off your list. We don't need you to man bash in this situation. Come on, cuz. You just want attention on this one, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. 
And if you want to be honest now, this just to let you know you're full of, if you want to be honest, how long have women been saying, uh-uh, I don't got to deal with no man. I get my little bullet, my little vibrator, my little dildo when I'm good. I ain't got to deal with no dude. They be grabbing shit out there. They been saying that. Why is it so big now when a man say he going to replace a woman with a plastic rubber dog? If that idiot or weirdo want to do that, let him do it. Ain't nobody calling out ladies when they say they want to use their vibrators and they deal those. They don't want to deal with men. Right. Go right. Right. No. So, I don't know why y'all listen to this dude anyway. I'm in the truck. Because he in the truck. But at the same time, we never see this dude out of his front seat. We Y'all listen to him. We don't even know if he got legs for real. He giving all this advice. Let, let us see your legs, bro. <laughs> let us see your legs. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yo, he just, he just flayed this dude. Oh, my God. He just flamed this dude. Nice little win. Hold on. It ain't over yet. Oh, so. Sorry about that. No, if you started afterwards, oh, damn, I wanted to see the damn um, comments for that one. Let me run it. Let me see if I reopen real quick. See if I can get a comment off that joint. Hold on. See if I can get a comment off that shit. That shit was funny. He just straight flamed. He just straight flamed uh, Darren Jackson on that one, though. I mean, he got a. God damn it. I'm trying to see comments for it. Mr. Shalise, uh. Video. God damn, keep showing this other one. You know, girl got a fat ass, but shit. Come on now. Hey, Ray, don't, don't, don't you dare play yet. It's gonna play. Hold on a second. Anyway, let's see. Let me see if we can get a glimpse of the comments for I've been seeing a whole lot of talk about these new sex dogs. All right, Paul, Paul's. I'll be seeing a whole lot of these. There's a lot of news from him, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of from him, but let's just see the any frame from Mr. other than Mr. Shelley. And not all women feel like that. Not all women say they rather use a dildo or vibrator. I've never been to that woman. I love a man. I love the way he talks, the way he talks, the way he breathes, the way he looks in my eyes. Drawing. I can't co sign the homie on that on, on the right. Okay. I rather date the guy on the left any day, of course. Oh wait, I can't respond can't wait for his response. But he said, show your legs down. She was funny. You know, everybody laughing on the legs for it, though. Uh, these men are mad that Derek's telling women not to deal with their trifling asses. Oh, that's my own girl, Nikki. Anytime a black empowered black woman, other men calls them a simp. Why? Because those fuck boys hate, hate women and would rather see us out here struggling than empowered. He's, he's engaging, has the door, so he's, he walks the talk. Ooh, okay, shit. Let me sign new Mr. Derrick Jackson. But we ain't done when the, we ain't done though. I ain't got nothing against the man though, but I want to see what these other do. So the next one's from Mr. Hilarious Omar. Let's see what he gotta say about Mr. Darren Jackson's uh uh comment about the sex dial. Hold up. Alright, Mr. Hilarious Omar, you're up. These new sex dolls, the ones that dudes are telling women they need to watch out for because they're about to take y'all place. But I also saw that these dolls cost $2,000 a piece. So my question is, why should women have to worry about a doll that y'all can't afford? Because half y'all ain't got no job, so I know you ain't expecting no refund check. The other half y'all still complain about $200 a month in child support. And you can't even take the girl that you do like on a real date to a restaurant that doesn't have a drive through Or you want to Netflix and chill with your homeboy's password. You done? Well, you finished. <laughs> Jackson, you seem to be very informative. But a word from the wise, you don't have to downgrade men to uplift women. I appreciate the fact that you out here uplifting women, but what you're not going to do is shit on men, act like we're not out here working nine to fives and busting our ass every day, like we're not taking care of our kids, like all of us living at our mother's house, like we don't motherfucking pay our own Netflix bill. That's what you're not going to do, good brother. The whole sex toy thing is a joke. Simply entertainment. Can't no sex toy replace no woman? Ever. Correction. They can't replace good women. Just like vibrators and dildos can't replace good men. But I will say this. Women have made having sex toys a normal thing. They feel open and confident and comfortable telling you about what type of vibrator, bullet, uh, dildo that they brought home or have in their drawer. Meanwhile, men that are interested in this sex doll are being looked upon as creeps and weirdos and sex offenders and rapists and murderers they just want the same sexual privilege and option as women do with the sex toys that's all but what we forgetting is that there's both men and women that don't even play with sex toys the sex toy community is a very large community but it's not everybody 
Now back to you, Derek Jackson. <laughs> you who the hell is Ryan Davis on steroids? Draymond <laughs> Green. Looking like a and I hope the ladies are listening to this part. Men, including Derek Jackson, will say what they need to to get what they need out of you. Derek Jackson, like some other terrible men out there, feel as though their value is raised Ooh. by downplaying other men. How many times has a friend of one of the guys that you dating tried to hit on you behind their boy's back? Why you messing with that nigga? He a lame. He don't pay your bills. He don't pay your rent. Come on now. Whole time you and your girl, the happiest couple in the world, holding each other down, going through the bumps and the hurdles in life together. Fellas, y'all know what I'm talking about. This the dude that try to fuck your girl when you drop her off at work. <laughs> Derek Jackson, although he has some great informative information for women, plays on the emotions of women, the weaknesses of women, the insecurities of women to propel himself in his career. I'm a realist now. The ladies like Derek Jackson because he's swole, he's tall, he says what they want to hear. Is he tall? Let's see what the D is like. But seriously, he puts on this whole persona to get you to buy into him, like he really cares about your well-being or your relationship. If Derek Jackson was half the man Hilarious Omar was, he wouldn't just uplift women, he would also uplift men as well. There's already an agenda set in place to minimize the black man. In this era and generation, men's character is under attack. Our masculinity is under attack. Our brotherly love is lacking in our community. So many little boys and girls are being raised without their fathers, and that's not completely men's fault. We don't need people like Derek Jackson out here bashing men. We need people like Derek Jackson uplifting men. Ladies, what Derek Jackson is not telling you is that there's a growing number of men that are out here improving their conditions so that we can be better kings for y'all as our queen. And that's because he wants all the coochie for himself. <laughs> Derek Jackson is the dude that be coming up behind niggas back and telling their women, damn girl, your man don't know what to do with all that. He's simply a preacher that be fucking his congregation. <laughs> Jackson does not set the standards for men at the end of the day, Derek Jackson, when you get married, bro, ladies, men love you way more than a sex doll. All right, so he, uh, hold up, pause for another video, come on. But yeah, he broke it down, I like that. That was, shit was dope, though. Cancel that shit. Anyway, that shit was dope how he did that. I like how he, I like how hilarious, you know, um, Charlie Jr. made it more hilarious, though, but, god darn it, hold on, oh, Jamie, um, you know, you know, uh, she messed me all up, hilarious, uh, je uh fuck, she messed my, my state up, my fault, um, we'll call back, I can get this, uh, reaction bit, but, um, the way Charlie J Jr. made it hilarious, though, with this, with his, but he like being more, a little bit funny, but more lifting though. Let me see the comments for this one though. V neck fake feminism, the Derek Jackson. Oh, ho, ho. I'll wait for somebody for him to say dummy. But if if it don't apply, I'll let it fall. Only people that feel some type of way are the uh, uh, MS that still ain't got they shit together. I seen some of his video and a lot it'd be true. Black man, that yeah, okay, true. It's crazy, man can bash women all the time in a rap song in the world, but you get mad when he speaks the truth. Fuck it. See, some of people still all these lame niggas offended by his message, though. Only hit dolls will be offended by Jackson's. See, a lot of people still they they're still yes, low yes, low yes. This man, his exhausted effort got get on my damn nerves. So seriously, people. First of all, no need to stop saying no no. First of all, he needs to stop saying T Jackson, and that's sh and that's some BS, and that's some BS itself. But he's selling a book, though. You can buy his T-shirt. Get the fuck out! Glad you did this. So there's some girls that agree with him. I used to like him until I found you. Psych now, for real. I'm woke. This video of his showed me how hard he was reaching. And he was wrong. He just want our money and support. Yeah, he was reaching, I guess. So. I think I'm more sure. I'm thinking more sure though. Um, I think I should share this one, folks. But yeah, I got I got no 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 love loss for Darren Jackson. You know what I'm saying I don't got no love loss for Darren Jackson. You know what I'm saying he mean he, he means well, but sometimes he do be reaching with his uh male bashers and all that shit. Though know what I'm saying um he go like the, this one he was kind of reaching with that one though like like where Larry and Charlie, but mainly where Larry Omar said. Like, that's not what, that's, that's just, just, just for entertainment, it's not for real, though, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Or uh, they don't, 
they uh saying it's a fuck boy uh but you know some lady saying this is a fuck boy babysitter and shit like that though i'm gonna get tired of that word because they it's ruining a lot of it's these fuck boys are ruining shit for us guys though for real tall but um this this is good this is video though was pretty funny and pretty informative as well too though um, especially hilarious Omar side though. I love that man. He's a cool dude. Matter of fact, I'm about to follow you, dude. After I share this though. Anyway, that's it. Thoughts. Um, but anyway, if you uh like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.